Hey everybody, welcome to the Jade and Stitches show. Today's episode is on knitting. We're going to cast on knitwise today. So if you're brand new to knitting or you did it a long time ago and feel like you need a refresher, then this is a short video on casting on knitwise. So grab a pair of knitting needles, grab a ball of yarn, and let's head to the craft table and practice some knitting. In order to cast on knitwise, we are going to begin with a slip knot. Take your first needle, which we will call needle number one, and place your slip knot on your needle, and then pull the long working string until your slip knot is loose enough that it moves around on your needle, but not too tight. Then you're going to take knitting needle number two, and you're going to insert it. Try to keep your needle, or try to keep your working loop near the end of your needle. Not too close, but somewhere near the end. It makes it a little easier to manage. Take needle number two, slip it into the loop, so right through the loop, underneath needle number one. So it looks like that from the side. Your needle number two is under needle number one. Both of them are in the same loop. You can take that little tiny hanging string and hold it against needle number one with your fingers. And if you're really, really new to this, you can maybe lodge your, the ends of your knitting needles up against your body to help kind of keep control of them. While you grab your working yarn, wrap it around needle number two, so just needle number two, and then pull it towards you, and that's what you should hear. I'm gonna do that again. Grab your working yarn, wrap it around needle number two, and pull it towards you. And you hear that satisfying little click? It's the sound of your needles coming back together. The yarn should be coming right through the middle of both of them. So we're still using needle number two. Keep hold, a little bit of pressure is good, on your working yarn. You're going to bring needle number two back towards you and you're going to grab that yarn with the tip of needle number two, push it up as soon as you've cleared needle number one, and you've made a loop on needle number two. So we're halfway through casting on our second stitch. Next, we wanna get the loop from needle number two onto needle number one. So you're going to take needle number one, place it through that loop, so front to back, just like you did going the opposite direction. Once your needle's through it, just pull number two out. You can give it a little bit of a tug. Make sure that it's about the same size as your slip knot was. And both your loops should move back and forth across needle number one nice and comfortably. So let's do another one. Your slip knot counts as a cast on stitch. And now we've cast on knitwise a second stitch. So move your work up close to the end of your knitting needle, not too close, you don't want it falling off the end. Grab needle number two, place needle number two through, front to back, the second loop. So the loop you just finished making, you're gonna work that loop. So front to back, looks like this from the side. So needle number two is through the loop, it's under needle number one, Hold both of those needles. If you have to, you can jam them up against your tummy. Grab your yarn and wrap it around needle number two. So just needle number two and pull towards you. So it's coming through between both of your needles. And then you take needle number two, bring it back towards you, grab that yarn with your knitting needle so it helps to keep a little bit of tension on that string and once you've got that loop on your hook or I should say on your needle it should look something like this there's our first one our second one number three is sitting on needle number two we just need to transfer that third loop back to needle number one so we take needle number one pass it through the loop front to back and once it's through you can pull needle number two out of the way Pull a little taunt, make sure that all of your working loops can still move back and forth comfortably on that knitting needle. 
And let's do a fourth one. Grab needle number two, insert it through that most recent loop from front to back. Make sure your work is close to the end of your needle. Grab your working yarn, wrap it around needle number two, pull it towards you, keep a little bit of tension on that yarn, pull your knitting needle back towards you so that you can pick up a loop and try not to split your yarn. Actually, that's a really good lesson. I split my yarn. So you see that? Because I'm using a loosely, a loosely wound ply, when I stuck my needle through, I actually split my yarn. So that's something that you want to try and, and not do. So I'm going to do that again. Needle from front to back. I'm not splitting my yarn this time. Grab your working yarn, wrap it around your needle, pull back towards you. You should hear that nice little click. Grab needle number two, pull it back towards you, keep a little bit of tension on that yarn, pick up a loop with the tip of needle number two, and you should have something that looks like this. So there's one, two, and three. Here's loop number four. We just have to get it from needle number two to needle number one. Take needle number one, go front to back, through that loop. So once you're through it, pull needle number two out of the way, Give a little bit of a tug, not too much, on your yarn. And make sure that your tension hasn't gotten out of control. You want to make sure that all four of those loops still move around neatly on your needle. So we'll do one more together. Take needle number two, work front to back through that last loop that you made. Don't split your yarn. <laughs> Grab your yarn, wrap around needle number two, pull it towards you, Keep tension on that yarn, bring needle number two back through the loop, pick up a loop with the pointy end of that needle. It should look like this. So you've got four on needle number one, number five's on needle number two. We're going to transfer it by taking needle number one, slipping it through that loop from front to back, underneath. Once it's through, you can pull needle number two out of the way and just tug back gently on your yarn. And there you go. You've now cast on, knitwise five stitches. And that is casting on, knitwise. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Please make sure you give this video a like. You can tap that like button down below if you found this video helpful. That's it for this week. Make sure you tune in again soon for more knitting or crocheting on the Jaden Stitches Show. Bye, everybody.